everybody, welcome to unit seven. Today we're gonna to talk about notation. And notation means a way of writing music down. Since composers and musicians are not always in the same place or even in the same time period, composers have had to figure out a way over the years to write their music down so that it can survive and be played and heard even when they're not there. So notation means writing music down. And there are lots of different ways to notate music. In fact, you guys are gonna come up with your own way of writing music down, of notating music. In a few weeks, you're gonna compose a piece, and in order for the ACO musician to play it, you have to figure out a way to write it down. For instance, if you want to hear a sad mouse sound, and I'm not around, so you can't say, hey, Sharon, can you play a sad mouse sound? You're gonna to have to figure out a way to write something down, draw a picture, create a symbol that will mean sad mouse sound, then I can get the piece of paper, look at it, and say, oh yeah, they want me to make a sad mouse sound, and then I'll be able to play it. In order to get ready to create your own system of notation, your own system of writing music down, let's start with a few games to show you what I mean about reading and writing music down. If I held up this piece of paper and I told you that the top of the page is the highest note and the bottom of the page is the lowest note, how might you sing this picture? Maybe it would go something like this. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. What about this picture? Do, do, do. What about this picture? Without even telling you anything, what if I held up this picture? Do bop boo or this one? What if I told you that if I draw this symbol, it means loud? Then how would you sing this picture? Do, ba, do. Okay, now what if I told you that if I draw this symbol, it means really soft? How would you sing this picture? Do, do. Okay, what about this picture? Remembering that the top of the page is the highest and the bottom of the page is the lowest, how might you sing this picture? In all of the above examples, if I wasn't here, to explain what those symbols meant, you would need a key to read it to be able to understand what the symbols meant. I've made a key for the examples that we just went through and it looks like this.
Okay, now we're gonna review all of the composer's choices and sound effects and emotions and everything we've discussed since unit one. And we're gonna use it as a brainstorming session to help you start to work on your keys, which your keys are you're gonna use to compose your piece. So I'm gonna play a bunch of different examples of everything that we've talked about. And when I play something, I want you to just jot down quickly. You don't have to spend too much time thinking about it, just sort of the first thing that comes to your mind. Jot down a symbol or an image or a color or something that you think represents the sound that you hear. And you're gonna use all these examples later after we say goodbye, and it's gonna help you create your keys. So I'm gonna play a bunch of different examples and you're gonna draw a picture or an image or a symbol or use, it can be anything. For instance, um, you can decide that you want red to mean loud or you want blue to mean soft or you can draw a big exclamation mark when you hear loud or you can draw a setting sun when you hear soft. It can really be anything. So basically you're, thinking of symbols and images that go along with each example, and then you can use that later to make your key. Okay, here we go. Piano. Pianissimo. Forte. Fortissimo. Crescendo. Diminuendo. Mute. Pizzicato. Tremolo. Ponticello. Harmonics. Now I'm going to play some emotions. Here's happy. Sad. Scared.
angry. Now some articulations. Bouncy, which in Italian means spiccato. Sharp, in Italian the word is staccato. Smooth. In Italian, the word is legato. And slurred. Now we have fast tempo. And slow tempo. High. Low. Long, short. Now let's do a couple shapes and patterns. Okay, so now you're going to go onto the website and you can read about other different kinds of notation that people over the years have created. Then you can start working on your key. Now, don't worry about your key too much because your key is going to be a work in progress. When you start composing, you're going to decide what you want to put in your music and that's then going to add things or subtract things from your key. So right now, it's just sort of a brainstorming thing. You're going to think to yourself, hmm, what might I want to put into my compositions? Probably I'll want some louds and softs, or some bouncies, or some smooths. So you can start to think about what symbols and pictures you want to associate with those um, sounds so that you can put them in your key and then later put them in your composition. Have fun!